Hey, Frank. Have you decided what you want to do for your birthday? Yes, I'm going to eat strawberry cake with frosting. Hmm, yummy. What about you, Pete? I'm going to the museum. I want to see the prehistoric animals exhibition that's coming to Remarkable Town. I can't wait for that day to come. How long until my birthday? Oh, let's check the calendar. Let me see. Today is January 5th, 2023. How do you know that? It's all written here, look. The calendar is used to organize our routine. It shows what day it is today, the days that have passed, and the days yet to come. I mark an X on all the days that have already passed. I've already marked the first, second, third, and fourth. And today is the fifth. And how about these words above the days? They represent the days of the week. There are seven days in total. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. All the days in this column fall on Monday and so on. Today is the fifth, so we are on a Thursday. Oh, that's easy. Days, weeks, and this here is the month, right? Exactly, Frank. We're in January of 2023, the first month of the year, so it's month one. Each month is represented by a number. Did you know that? January is the first, February is the second month, or month two, and March is the third month, or month three, and so on. December is the last one, known as month 12. So, since my birthday is on the 1st of February, it's almost a month away. And it falls on a Wednesday. Well, at least I'll still be on vacation. Mine is further away, on October 26th. That's about 10 months away. That's almost two semesters. Semester? Oh, like school vacations in Brazil. A semester is a period of six months. In a year, we have two semesters or 12 months divided by our vacations. One in the middle of the year, usually in July, and the other at the end of the school year, between December and January. But before vacations, we have to close our grades, which can be quarterly, every three months, or bi-monthly, every two months. I hope my grades are good this quarter. <laughs> Pete, looking at the calendar, I've noticed something. Why are Sundays a different color? I had that question too, Frank. But Ms. Macy explained that Sundays are different because they represent the first day of the week. And most people rest on that day. Oh, not me. On Sundays, I play soccer, go to the park, organize my sticker collection. There's no rest for me at all. <laughs> me neither. But most people do rest. Many stores don't open and neither do schools. But look, Frank, September 7th is also a different color, even though it's a Thursday. That's the date we celebrate Brazil's Independence Day. It's a national holiday, and holidays are also rest days. Ah, that explains it. <laughs> now that I know everything about calendars, I'll go back to planning my birthday. I want a ton of sweets to share with the gang. Oh, and I want to celebrate from sunrise until sunset. That's spot on, Frank. I'll help you pick the sweets. I can't wait to eat them too. <laughs> so let's get going.